Coach, 3-0, uh, had a mm -hmm. key home win over uh, Memphis mm -hmm. on Saturday, uh, heading into a game with Salt Lake, who knocked off another undefeated team last week. Uh, mm -hmm. What are you what are you thinking going into this weekend's game? Yeah, we feel fortunate to be 3-0. and We know the ball has bounced our way a little bit the last couple of weeks, and uh, hopefully we can improve as the season goes along and play better against Salt Lake City. Uh, another, yeah, they're a good team. They lost a couple of close ones early, and then they beat, uh, I guess, uh, the Arizona team uh, that was undefeated. So uh, they're they're solid, good team, and uh, we, if we're going to beat them, we got to play well. So hopefully we've learned as we go, and hopefully we can play a little bit better up there at Salt Lake. I've never had a game in uh, Colorado. Uh, that I can remember, or in Utah either. So uh, I'm going into some different territory, and uh, it, it should be an interesting game. Um, Saturday after the game, you said uh, it may not have been the best game we've played this mm -hmm. year. Um, mm -hmm. Has that changed now that you've had a chance to watch the video? No, it wasn't the best game, but uh, it was a game we did a lot of good stuff to be able to run out the last five minutes of the game this week and run out the last four of the week before. Those are probably the best things we've done. Uh, we had some good breaks in the game. Uh, the touchdown pass to Rennell on fourth and seven was just an uh, excellent individual effort by Garrett and then by Rennell also, and uh, scramble play, and uh, it just worked out. So that was a big play. We gave up some, a couple of big plays that uh, they executed very well, and our coverage wasn't as good as we'd hoped, or, or our pass rush on those two plays wasn't as good. But other than that, our defense was outstanding, uh, as we've been most of the year. We had a few guys get hurt during the game. Keith Reeser most notably early on. Are anybody going to be out for a long period? Yeah, Reeser should be back. He's He's got some uh, migraine headache issues that hit every now and then. It, it sort of hit him the morning of the game, and he fought through it for a while, and then uh, – uh, we felt it's best to go ahead and get uh, another player in there, but uh, he should be fine this week. Um, mm -hmm. In terms of uh, the running game, we had our best rushing performance as a team this season mm -hmm. so far on Saturday. Um, what do you attribute that to? Is it the combination of backs we've used? Is it the offensive line mm -hmm. stepping up their game? Well, obviously our guys uh, ran in there and bounced them outside several times. I, I don't know if... Uh, the other team, I don't know if Memphis felt like that, that was their goal is to pinch inside, but uh, excellent runs uh, by Dearness and Davion uh, to, to bounce it outside, break a few tackles, and, and go. So uh, our line did a good job also. They, they maintained their blocks, and uh, we were able to bounce out on several of them, and a few of them we hit the nice little opening the way it was supposed to be drawn up. So uh, it worked out. And, uh, again, we, we need to keep running uh, better early in the game. We've not, not run extremely well uh, early, and, and hopefully we can do that this week. <clears throat> you mentioned we haven't had, a, you know, some success running early mm -hmm. in games. Do you and get us a victory? Uh, so what we're trying to do is what all teams do is you try to improve as the season progresses. If we can do that, then we'll have a chance for a really big season. Um, the team's going to be beginning its practices in Georgia uh, this week for the whole, you know, the next five weeks or so. Um, talk about how the team is feeling, how you the coach and staff are feeling. Well, we knew this was coming, so uh, we're well prepared to be in Jacksonville. We actually stay there the month of uh, March, and then we're practicing up in uh, Kingsland, Georgia, Camden County High School. Beautiful facility there, and they've been gracious to open it up uh, for the Apollos. So we're in good shape. We're in good shape here. We. Uh, we're settled in at the hotel here in Lexington, uh, uh, downtown Jacksonville, right on the river. Beautiful place. I think all the guys got their own rooms, and uh, uh, we eat here, we meet here. So we, we, we've sort of got it made right here. Uh, the bus ride's the only little inconvenient up to Georgia and back, but uh, that's what we got to do, and uh, we're looking forward to doing it. It's almost like having a second training camp in a way, with everybody being in the same place and eating meals together and being, you know, away from home a little bit. Yeah, we've been sort of together all along anyway, and uh, and, and that's that's fine. We we all get along. We don't have any enemies uh, amongst ourselves, which is what you have to have, obviously, to have a team. Uh, so we've we've known this is going to happen, but uh, we're w well prepared for it. Uh, the married guys, they got their wives here, and some of them got their kids here. So it's uh, it's a good family or oriented type situation we have so it's uh, uh, it's no problem whatsoever 
Salt Lake's head coach, Dennis Erickson, longtime mm -hmm. college coach just like yourself. Have you guys ever coached against each other before? No, we never have. Denny uh, was at Miami uh, a lot of the years I was at Florida, and uh, we were actually pretty good buddies and still are good buddies. Uh, but we uh, we tried to team up against FSU. Uh, neither one of us uh, obviously wanted to lose to FSU, and he didn't lose much to them. I think they beat me more than they beat him. But, uh, yeah, Denny's an excellent coach and uh, does a super job with that team up there. Um, what – what do you think we need to improve on specifically to beat Salt Lake? Uh, we just try to improve er every area uh, as we go along. Uh, obviously, giving up long passes and long pass interferences are something we hope uh, we can sort of discontinue. Uh, and then offensively, we need to play a lot better. Although we weren't terrible last week, we just weren't good. And uh, I think we can throw it around better than we did early in the game. So. Uh, that's, uh, uh, we're, we're trying to improve really every area of the team. I think we're good. Okay. Thanks, All right, man.